and thanks for tuning in to Sweet Talk with Taylor. This video is designed to help you understand how to navigate Construction Suite and where each of our features are able to be accessed. I'll preface this by saying that many of the features you'll see today are version specific, so if you see a feature in our video that's not present or available to you, just give us a call to find out how you can get that enabled. To get started, let's talk about the different areas and components of your Construction Suite system. You'll notice that we have both a right and a left hand sidebar, multiple toolbars across the top, a set of secondary navigation tabs just below that, and then of course the main interface, whose content will change as you navigate to different areas of the software. We'll start with the left hand sidebar. This is going to be your primary form of navigation when you're using Construction Suite, and it's the fastest way to access all of the major components offered by the system. You can also check out the weather and your construction online status down in the bottom left hand corner. And once you become familiar with the sidebar options, you also have the ability to collapse the sidebar to move it into icon form to give yourself a little more room to work. The right hand sidebar will contain quick access to any recent projects you've worked on, as well as the ability to create new content using our quick links. It also includes the mini calendar, which can be used to jump to a specific day on our main construction suite calendar. And just like the left hand sidebar, this sidebar can be collapsed to allow for more room, but it can also be expanded to provide additional quick links and access to an additional month on the mini calendar. The toolbars across the top can be used for various functions within Construction Suite, including generating new content, creating backups, running reports, configuring options, and checking for additional content such as RS means data. So finally, that brings us to the main interface and our set of secondary tabs. For each main feature offered on the left-hand sidebar, you'll have access points to relevant content and dashboards through the tabs across the top. Let's take a moment to quickly walk through each of the component interfaces within Construction Suite to show you exactly where everything can be found. We're going to go ahead and expand this left-hand sidebar again so that you guys can see the names of the sections that we're going through, since you may not be familiar with the icons yet. We'll start on the Today screen on our dashboard, which is the first thing you're going to see when you open up Construction Suite. This is going to contain some information on your estimates, leads, change orders, and financial data so that you can get that right at your fingertips. You've got the summary, which is going to give you quick access to any recent activities, to-dos, files, contacts, and projects you've worked on within the system. You have the activity history, which we'll see a couple places throughout the system, just filtered by different contacts or projects. But this is going to show you all of the recent activity and history of saves, downloaded files, edits, anything that you've created or deleted in the system as well. The correspondence overview is one of our commercial features and this is going to be where you track your RFIs, correspondence, submittals, transmittals, etc. The company overview will give you more financial information on your company as a whole, different groups of projects and then different estimates within projects as well. And then the work in progress or WIP report will give you financial data, most of which is going to come from QuickBooks or your construction suite estimate and it's going to tell you a little bit more in depth how you're performing financially on the jobs both during and after the job is completed. Moving on to the estimating tab, you'll actually see that we have three tabs across the top here, the first of which will be your dashboard. This is going to again show you that cost breakdown we saw on the main dashboard, your change order summary, but it's actually going to include your recent estimates and some detail on those change orders as well. You have the ability to create new estimates using our estimate wizard or just by launching a blank one as well as a more detailed access point for your templates and ways to organize those. Finally, we have your items database, which is where the RS means data is going to be located within the system, as well as any custom cost books that you create with your own pricing. The scheduling tab, just like the estimating tab, will have a dashboard where you can see a mini calendar for the upcoming week, as well as recent schedules and schedule templates. And then a create new tab that allows you to launch the schedule wizard or open a blank schedule as well as manage your templates in more detail. Contracts and Docs also has a new and recent tab that allows you to create new documents through the wizard or from a blank one and see the recent documents that you've worked on. The Document Templates tab, however, is going to be your access point for all of the content that we provide with Construction Suite, including contracts, documents, if you're in one of our green versions, your lead resources, rating systems, and versions, developer tools, personnel management, etc. And then finally, your report templates, where everything generated from Construction Suite will be housed template-wise, and you can come here to edit those as well. You will only see this, by the way, if you're an administrator in Construction Suite, so if you don't see the report templates section, get one of your system administrators to either edit it for you or to give you administrator privileges so that you can modify these templates on your own. 
The Projects tab is of course going to show all of your projects in Construction Suite. Uh, this is going to give you content based on your filters and grids and what projects you're looking at at the moment. But it also gives you the ability to switch over to see your opportunities, which we'll touch on when we get to that tab. A project summary, so if we have a specific project like Hyatt Plaza selected, it'll give us details specific to that project like files, information on the estimates and schedules, activities, to-dos, and contacts. The workflow is going to be project type specific and this actually gives you a checklist, kind of a running list to go through, uh, tied into action items to make sure that you're completing everything on the project and have quick access points to all of the different functions within Construction Suite. The correspondence overview will be the same as the Today tab, it'll just be project specific. Same with the project history and the activity history. Insurance for the project can be tracked here and you can see the status of any insurance or licenses that you have as well. And then project files will be available here as well. If you click on this, this will actually re-navigate you to the left hand panel and take you to the project files tab where you can see all of the uh, projects in the system, whether they are linked with construction online and then get a detailed view of those project files and the last time they were modified. The contacts field will actually take you to another contacts grid where you can see any of your leads, the summary, the contact history, or insurance and certificates for the contact specific. Just like the projects, you'll have your bubble sorts and grid down here. The leads will take you to the leads tab. The summary will take you to a similar summary as the project with related projects and opportunities, lead information, to-dos, and activities. History will be contact specific history and then insurance and certificates just like the projects will be specific to this contact. Leads will give you a specific subset of your contacts which are designated as leads and this will actually be the same thing as the contacts just with that specific subset so you'll be able to see their insurance history and summaries all across the top as well. Opportunities again are related to projects just like leads are related to contacts so opportunities will be a subset of your projects um, they really are intended to be pending projects. So before you sign the contract, they have specific functionality here to where they don't factor into your financial reports and metrics. So everything you have access to here will be the same as the projects tab. It's just labeled as a different subset so that your opportunities and, and actual projects don't get mixed together. The construction calendar is going to give you a couple different view options to see on a larger or a smaller scope what you have upcoming. Currently we're on the day view, so this will give you an hour by hour view as well. Uh, but you can actually see the month view for a little bit zoomed out view, the week view if you want to hone in just a little bit more, and then also the list view and year view, which list view will be more of a Gantt chart overlay almost, and the year view will give you your year as a whole, and let you see the volume and the density of your activities on any given day. To-dos will give you a running list of all of your to-dos, and you can filter out by specific uh, statuses. So just like you have the bubble sorts here, you actually have tabs for each of the statuses upcoming and complete complete uh, as well as all to do's. The construction online tab is going to give you any activity that's recently occurred between suite and online or anything that's recently been uploaded to construction online including files and photos. And the suite link activity tab here is actually going to show you any pending uploads or downloads that you have going between the two systems. Finally that brings us to the apps and services tab. This is going to give you some more information on additional products and services that we offer at UDA uh, other than Construction Suite. And so you'll see that we have our on-site mobile apps which can be used independently or to tie into our Construction Online product. Uh, online is web-based and it integrates very seamlessly with Construction Suite and really gives you a new feature set there. And then last is our Total Care package, which is our Enhanced Benefits package. Gives you complete access to our product specialist, QuickBooks Pro Advisors, updates and upgrades to the software as well as RS means updates and many other features that are included here as well. If you do have any interest in adding on any of our additional products or features or learning more about what they provide, please give us a call. We'll be happy to help out and give you some more info on that, maybe even give you a quick demonstration. The number here is 800-700-8321. Any of our sales representatives or product specialists will be more than happy to give you any information you need on these products and services. I think that's going to do it for us today. If you still have questions about navigating Construction Suite, please let us know. There's many other videos you can take a look at as far as how to organize and customize the information that we've just seen. So check out some of our other Suite Talks. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want the latest updates on all of our new features. And thanks again for tuning in.